Hello and welcome to MySQL for Beginners Lesson 1. Today marks the beginning of a new tutorial series called MySQL for Beginners and it's going to be dealing with MySQL which I'm sure a lot of you be have been waiting for. Before we get started with the actual MySQL part of things we need to know exactly what MySQL is. Because this description is so long I'm going to leave it out of the video and I'm going to post the textual description on my website. The, uh, the URL is in the description and it should be on the video screen if I've used annotations correctly. So just visit that quickly and read up the read up what MySQL is. Okay, so before we actually write any MySQL code in a PHP document, we need to be able to connect to a database. And to do that we need to have a database that exists. So on our localhost um WAMP server home page under the tools subsection click on PHP my admin you'll soon be getting very used to this uh, program and then you want to create a new database so for the sake of this tutorial we'll type in my database and uh, simply click create uh, the database is created but the database is currently empty so you need to create a table and we'll just name this my table and this works just like any table you would draw yourself. It has columns and rows. Um, the number of fields, this is the number of columns it's asking you. For this example, let's put uh, 3 and click Go. And now it's asking us for a bunch of complex looking options. Actually, they're quite simple. Uh, the first one is the field name, so we'll just write. The first one will be ID. Don't worry, I'll explain all this just now. The second field name will be username, uh, just put it as name, and uh, surname. Now the type, this is the type of data um, MySQL is expecting for it to be in, and you have to set this. For ID, we'll leave it as int, int stands for integer. For name, we'll change it to varchar, which stands for variable character, and for surname, the same. The length, this is what MySQL expects to be the maximum length of the data inputted here. So for ID, I think 5 is fine. Um, name, 15, and surname, 15. And we can ignore everything until attributes. Um, for the ID field, you need to be setting index to primary. We're going to be setting this as the primary key. And um, auto increment, you check this. And what this is going to do is every time a new field, a, a new piece of data is entered, it's going to add one to the ID field, to the ID um, row. And once we've filled all that in, we just scroll down and uh, let's click on the save field. Okay, so the table my table has been added to my database. Excellent. One last thing we need to do is um, add a user to the database. So what we can do here is if we click on my database at the top, and then we go to the privileges tab we need to add a new user so username, I'm pretty sure you're used to this, we'll just write it as user host just changes to local because we're running it only locally so it's fine and password, I'm not going to put a password because not, it doesn't require a secure password because we're not storing any actual data um, and then what we want to do is put all the privileges we want to grant all the privileges to the database um, to the user for this database uh, we can do this by clicking select all, check all and once we've done that we can just go down and click go we've added a new user now once we've done that let's go to notepad++ and see what else we can do Okay, so over here we have an index.php file open, as I'm sure you're familiar with from all the PHP tutorials. Um, we've got our two PHP tags. To begin, we need to connect to the database. We need to create a connection between this page, index.php, and the database that we've just created. But the way we do this, the first thing we do is create a variable called connect, and we'll set this equal to a piece of code called mysql underscore connect and um, there are three main parameters you need to pass through the per the parentheses this is the database name um sorry the database host um the username and the password 
So this, um, these aren't, this isn't actually how you write it, but it's just to show you. I'm going to replace this with what we actually put. So for our database host, we're hosting it as local host. Our, part, our username was, sorry, our username was user. And for me, I didn't put a password, but we still need to write two double quotes. Um, to signify no password. So that's just a variable, connect. For MySQL connect, right now it's not doing anything. We need to pass an if statement, like so. What this is doing is, right now, it's going to try and run the code in dollar sign in connect. And um, if it can run it and everything works fine, it's going to do whatever code we put in here. So let's put echo connected. Um, so if, if we connect successfully, it's going to tell us that we've connected to the database. And otherwise, if for some messed up reason there's a problem, we're going to echo problem. Uh, I'll give you more details on this um, in future tutorials. Right now, this is all you re really need to know. In doing this, it's actually connecting to the database. If there isn't a problem, here it's going to connect to the database. If there's a problem, it's just going to say problem. The reason we do this is because if we didn't put this, MySQL wouldn't tell us there's a problem. <coughs> so, let's go see how this looks like in Google Chrome. So, looks like it worked. We're, we've connected to the database successfully, which is good. Um, and again, if all of the, this database talk is confusing you because, um, I don't know, it's the first thing you're learning. Go back to my post on my website where I've actually explained everything. It, I did this to make the, the video shorter and less tedious. So, um, that it worked. Alright, so I know today might not have been the most exciting lesson, but every time you start a new language, you need to learn the basics of it first before you get to the interesting things. So next lesson, I promise you, we're going to be getting into some more interesting material. Thank you for watching, and um, please subscribe to my channel.